Okay, so it's Monday, the day after Father's Day, which was really, really nice. Yesterday, we had a really relaxing, stress-free Father's Day. My husband just kind of wanted to stay in and, you know, spend time with his kids, our kids, and watch the World Cup. If you guys don't know, we live in Costa Rica. My husband's family's Costa Rican. And Costa Rica is in the World Cup. And also, he's a soccer fanatic. So, he's watching all the other teams play too. So, that's what he wanted to do yesterday. So, we ended up staying home. We had some friends over. The kids had their friends over. So, they got to kind of chill and play and spend time with their friends. My husband and I, we did end up going to just go pick up some takeout. So, we got some Cuban pizza for the kids. And then we got some Japanese food, which was the bomb. So good. So we got some sushi, um, different types, and then we got this Japanese-style fried fish. It was so good. And the sauces. I don't know how they make their sauces, but their sauces are so good. And then we had some Japanese-style vegetables, which was amazing. And then the sticky rice. So, Father's Day was a success. We had a really good day. So today, I figured I have a couple of errands I have to run. And I figured I would take you guys along with me. And also give you kind of like an update. And let you kind of know what's been going on with us. So it's going to be an errand day. But it's going to kind of be like a chatty car type of vlog. So... I have to run to the library to return these books. They are overdue. Didn't even realize that. I have to go to the ATM and I have to go to the bank and I have to go to the supermarket and pick up some items for the week because we are running low on everything. We need fruits, we need some veggies, we need some juice boxes for the kids and then some breakfast items and some dinner items. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me show you what I get, and then I'll also give you an update on what's been going on with us. I'm done at the supermarket. That was a bit of a headache. Tell me if this happens to anybody else. I always get overcharged and I always check my receipts or I check the register to make sure that they're charging me what the price actually is. They overcharged me and then when it came time for them to um, fix the prices, they didn't take off the original overcharge and they charged me the product with the new price. So they charged me two products twice. And they overcharged me like $5. So I had to go back into customer service so that they can give me back the $5 extra that they overcharged me. Anyway, I'm done now at the supermarket. So I'm going to go into the bank and make a deposit. Okay, so I'm done at the bank. And now I'm heading to the library to return the library books before I have to pick up the kids. Let me just give you guys the update on what's been going on. So, I had to go to the bank. Well, I had to go to the ATM because I had to get the money to make a deposit for our hotel room for the end of this month. So, my nephews are coming to spend their summer vacation with us for the month of July and August. We're in Costa Rica. Um, so the, my kids are still in school and we're like technically in winter, but my nephews are coming on Monday, next Monday, the 25th. And then um, that's the last week the kids have for school and then they get a two week winter break. So they're gonna be on vacation for two weeks and I have a ton of stuff planned. One of the activities I have planned for us as a family is a beach trip. So we went ahead, we talked it over, me, my sister, my husband, and we decided to go ahead and book a beach trip 
for everyone so that's why I had to go to the bank I had to go ahead and make a deposit so that they can reserve our um, hotel rooms for the two nights we're gonna be staying we're going to Puerto Viejo which is like our spot we love going there and me and the kids haven't been um, uh, to the Caribbean side in over a year so we're pretty excited to go we booked a hotel called the Blue Conga looks pretty nice online we have never stayed there before but my husband kinda is familiar with um, the hotel there and um, for the two nights for all eight of us it was like three hundred and thirty dollars which you cannot beat that you cannot beat that now granted we are in low season right now because it's rainy season which is um, winter time so the hotels are a little bit cheaper but I didn't know if we were going to be able to go on a beach trip while the kids were on vacation and I'm so glad that we're able to do that um, this hotel has free Wi-Fi has free parking and bonus breakfast is included so it's always nice to find a hotel where at least one of your meals is included in the price because that really helps when it comes to like trying to book a budget friendly vacation for a large family so other things we have planned for the two weeks while my nephews are here they're gonna be here for two months so they will be doing pretty much the same activities that my kids are doing um, on the weekend so they'll be um, going to judo and they'll be starting guitar classes and then also possibly swim lessons and um, they're also going to be taking Spanish classes my sister really really wants them to learn Spanish the goal is by the time they're ready to leave in September they can at least understand and speak basic Spanish sentences so that's the goal so while we're on vacation I plan to take um, take the kids to the amusement park the children's museum um, skating bowling the arcade laser tag the trampoline park so we have it all planned out I love doing all of that stuff plus I'm a stay-at-home mom so what better person to do all of that with than with me and then they get to spend time with their cousins which they never get to see because we're in a different country so of course I will be filming and vlogging all of those fun activities that we'll be doing because I definitely want to have that on film for memory's sake and then also another big thing that's happening is I am going to Boston so I already bought my ticket I'm going to Boston in September I have not been to Boston since I moved to Costa Rica over 11 years ago so I'm super excited to go to Boston and see all my family members that I haven't seen in a while and um, catch up with a couple of friends that I haven't seen in a couple of years and then um, just to do everything that I haven't been able to do since I've been in Costa Rica I'm super excited to like go to Target for the first time um, to do all the fun stuff so yeah I am pretty excited to go to Boston because it's been forever and I know I'm gonna have a really good time I'm gonna do a bunch of shopping what I'm not looking forward to is the flight I don't travel because I don't like to fly it makes me super nervous it gives me anxiety I worry for days I can't eat I can't sleep so that part I'm not looking forward to but it should be fine the airline I'm traveling on I've heard some really awesome reviews the big reason too why I'm going to Boston is it's my grandmother's 90th birthday and she really really wants me there she wants me to come so badly and since I haven't been to Boston in so long and it's due time like I need to go I really wanted to go with the kids because they want to go but you know just to get it over with and go and see family and friends I think I'll just go by myself this time I'm only going for two weeks I'm super nervous about it because my husband's gonna be in charge for two whole weeks but he'll be fine
Anyway, I just got a call from the kids school to come pick up my son because they said he's not feeling well and he's crying. So I'm just going to go pick him up and then wait for my daughter and then we'll just head home and I'll show you guys all the groceries when I get back home. This is all the groceries I picked up for the week. So hoping this will last us until Sunday. I might have to go back Friday. But for the most part, this is going to last us the entire week. I spent about $60, which is a really good deal for the week. But I didn't get a ton of stuff for $60. So anyway, let me jump in and show you everything I bought. I got the kids the Great Value Buttermilk Pancakes. I haven't gotten pancakes in a while, so I decided to go ahead and pick that up. I do have some syrup on hand. Don't mind the box. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, but this is what it looks like. They're packaged like this, and it comes with 12. I got the Sparkling Ice. This is like my favorite flavor, the Kiwi Strawberry. Picked up some Italian dressing for salad and for marinades. I got a small bottle of oil. I didn't want to get a huge bottle of oil because I'm going to be getting it from Price Mart because it's a better value there. Got some cereal for the kids because we completely ran out of cereal, and they do like to have cereal in the morning for breakfast. Picked up some croutons, since I haven't gotten croutons in a while. Got some chopped suey noodles for dinner one night. It also comes with the seasoning pack, so that's going to be a nice meal. Some more bread. My husband actually prefers this bread, and it's actually cheaper than the one we get at Price Mart, so I'm going to be getting this bread from now on. Ran out of juice boxes and um, all the Capri Suns for the kids, so I went ahead and picked up a 12-pack, and this will be enough to last us until Friday. Got some lettuce and some cabbage and a tomato, bunch of bananas, a large bag of apples. This is 12 apples. It was a pretty good deal. I think that was like $4. Lentils for dinner one night. We like these Vaquitos crackers, so I got one pack. Got some more of the pre-cooked 98% whole grain rice. I saw this and I thought it was a really good deal. It was like $1.60 and it comes with a big four pack of the saltine original crackers. I've been wanting the kids to try out the Great Value Oreo. So this is the double filled um, twist and shout chocolate sandwich cookies. Again, to have around the house and as a snack for school. And then meat items, I got a package of seasoned beef some crab meat, and this large pack of salmon, which I'll cut this up and this will be at least two dinners. So I made the kids a box of this Annie's shells and white cheddar macaroni and cheese. So they're gonna eat now and then I'm gonna try to finish up our dinner. So I made a staple. I made my seafood coconut fried rice. It has tilapia in it, some tuna, some corn, coconut oil, small side salad, and these little wontons. So that's what I made for dinner for tonight. Okay, so this is the hotel I was telling you guys about. It's called the Blue Conga. And this is where we're gonna be staying for two nights with my family. So it's eight of us going total. It's my nephews and my mom. She's bringing my nephews and then she's gonna be here for two weeks. And then she'll leave and then she'll come back in September to pick them up so that they can start school and everything. Because like I said, they're on summer break right now. Now, it comes with a pool and it comes with breakfast included, which are two bonuses. I know when my kids go to the beach, you know, we spend all day at the beach. We're in the sun, we're in the sand, and it's a nice change of pace to kind of just do something else. When we get back to the hotel, we can jump in the pool and I know my kids are going to enjoy that. So this is what the rooms look like too. Like very simple but really comfortable. I'm super happy with our decision to book this hotel. And I know we're going to have a really good time.